Do you think that America is ready for a woman president? I think America is more ready for a woman president than it has ever been before. I am not the candidate for black America, although I'm black and proud. I'm not the candidate for female America, although I'm equally proud of that. I'm a candidate for all Americans. While other Democratic candidates jet across the state, she travels in a Greyhound bus, accompanied by her supporters and a small band of journalists. The atmosphere is decidedly folksy. She couldn't raise the kind of money that the guys had raised, but I did a lot of fundraising. Brunches for Shirley Chisholm, fashion shows for Shirley Chisholm. Shirley Chisholm puts in a 14-hour campaign day. When she's not on a platform, she's canvassing in the streets and the public parks. I actually was the one who talked to Huey Newton and convinced him that the Black Panther Party should get involved in her campaign, and they did. And then, so we conducted a massive voter registration drive, and so we did it differently. Shirley Chisholm plays her piano at an Arlington cocktail party. It's being held in her honor by affluent white ladies. They hope she can get enough delegate support to influence the party platform at its July convention. Mr. Chisholm, how does it feel to be the first black woman in Congress? Well, it's long overdue, but it's the most wonderful feeling. I had a course in government, and part of the course requirement was to work in a presidential campaign. And I said, no way, these guys don't uh, reflect the issues and the, the concerns that I have. But at the same time, I was president of the Black Student Union. I invited Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm to speak. What is so wrong with an Indian for the head of the Department of Interior and a woman for the head of HUW? Yes, and a black man for vice president. She came and she spoke and she said she was ready for president. And she talked about immigrant rights. She spoke fluent Spanish. She talked about reproductive health care for women. I have a picture of several of us young women with Shirley, and I'm sort of in the background looking over at her in awe. And I felt like, oh my God, this woman, she's taken on this white male dominated Congress. I ended up organizing the Northern California Shirley Chisholm primary campaign out of my class at Mills College. Hands reach out for her as they once did for Bobby Kennedy. And in Quincy, the candidate catches fire. Despite the people's wholehearted response, most of America's black political leaders are withholding their support. I remember going to the black political convention in Gary, Indiana, and the guys would not allow the endorsement of her to come forward, even though she was the only black person running for the presidency. Some called her crazy. Some said she didn't know what she was doing. I mean, it was very, very tense. While the black caucus bickered to find a consensus male candidate, Mrs. Chisholm outmaneuvered them by declaring herself the champion of America's black people. Come on, move back, please. George Wallace was the one who turned dogs on black people in Alabama. He was the worst person in the world in terms of racism. And Shirley Chisholm went to visit him in the hospital. Well, some of us went ballistic. I could not understand why she would go visit the segregationist. And she said, he's a human being. He got shot, he's gonna be paralyzed. And you never know, maybe I can help him see his racist nature. But he then became an ally on some issues that Shirley Chisholm was working on in Congress. She was really happy about what she had accomplished. She said, you know, at the end, the country was different. And she said, I hope I've opened the door for people who look like me to see they can do it too. And she paved the way for Jesse Jackson and then Barack Obama. You've been in politics now for more than 20 years. Don't you ever get tired of fighting an uphill battle? I hope eventually to be able to just sit back and guide a lot of beautiful young leaders in this country. I was so proud to be able to wear her pearls. Her, her goddaughter sent them to me. It was just, for me, a remarkable moment to have Shirley Chisholm there. It was because of Shirley Chisholm I am and because of Shirley Chisholm Kamala Harris is.